Meet Fletcher. He is an IPFW student with a knack for pottery. Today, he is going to show us how he can take something as simple as a piece of clay and turn it into a beautiful ceramic mug. When working with pottery, it is important to have the right supplies. A potter's wheel is crucial in keeping a consistent speed so that the pottery is as even as possible. Other tools help in shaping, scraping, and smoothing the clay to achieve the desired effect. In order to make a mug, Fletcher must first knead the clay. Kneading makes sure that all of the trapped air escapes. Air bubbles must be removed in this way so that the mug will not explode during firing, which would be a disastrous result. Once the clay is kneaded and ready to work with, the first step is to center the clay on the wheel. This is done by holding the clay in place in the center while the wheel is spinning. This makes sure that the piece of pottery will stay even and not wobble when it is being shaped until its final product. The next step is to begin shaping the clay. In this case, a mug needs a hole in the middle, so Fletcher will begin by inserting his thumb into the center of the clay. Because this is done while the wheel is spinning, the hole will be even and consistent. Next, it is time to start gently pulling the clay upwards. This is where the clay will begin to take shape and start to look like a mug. Fletcher pulls on it until it has reached his desired height and shape of what he wants. Using a sponge will ensure that the outside stays nice and smooth. As the artist continues to gently pull the clay upward, it is finally taken shape. Here, he finesses the mug and works with it until he finds that it is perfectly what he wants. Now that he is happy with the shape, he uses the flat scraper to smooth out any ridges. By holding the scraper gently against the mug and causing the wheel to rotate slowly, he will soon have a smooth finish on the outside of his mug. In order to remove the piece of clay from the wheel, Fletcher uses a piece of wire. The wire easily slices through the clay as he pulls it towards himself where the base of the mug meets the wheel. This will ensure that the mug doesn't get ruined when it's being removed from the wheel. As we know, every mug needs a handle. Here, a piece of clay is squeezed and manipulated until it is the exact shape and size of the desired handle. Next, the finished handle is gently attached to the mug. The joints where it is fastened should be smoothed to even and reinforced with wet clay so that the handle will be firm and sturdy and ready for use. After the mug is allowed to dry for a day or two, it is time to paint. A layer or two of glaze is brushed onto the mug. Although the glaze goes on white, it will turn into brown when exposed to great heat. After the mug has been painted, it is placed into a kiln. A kiln is a thermally insulated chamber that dries and hardens clay. This particular mug will be placed in the kiln for three hours, which will eventually reach a temperature of 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. During this time, the clay will become bone dry and officially a ceramic. Once the clay is done being fired, we can remove it from the kiln and finally view our finished product. That one piece of clay has now turned into a work of art that can certainly be admired.